With the beautiful Puget Sound just to our west, you get a look inside CenturyLink Field here in Seattle. This crowd, as we've come to expect in recent years, as loud as any in the NFL, and they get even louder when their Seahawks are introduced. We're ready for football as the Seahawks get set to do battle with the Tennessee Titans. And this carries into the end zone. And this will go as a touchback, and they will begin things at the 25. The Seattle offense now set to come back out on the field. Throwing now, Wilson on first down. A quick target here, complete to Metcalf. Good catch there by DK Metcalf. And when he came into the league, we were all impressed by his physical attributes. Looked like he was chiseled out of stone. This guy's body is one that we all really wanted to have. But as his rookie season progressed, they added more and more to his plate. Now at times, with his size, his speed, and ability to catch the ball downfield, he looks downright unstoppable. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. So much for the best laid plans and best designed plays. That was good coverage along the sidelines. No place for that one to get in there. It sails incomplete. Again on second and ten, it's Wilson. That's complete into the hands of Carson. And that play went nowhere. Losing yardage. It'll be back at the 36. It'll go as a loss of a yard, so now they deal with third and 11. And this now third and 11 after that second down completion actually went back a yard. On the move to his left. He can run for it, and he will. The rushing numbers for Wilson may be down from earlier in his career, but he's still a threat to go, showing it there, picking up the first down. So operating from Tennessee territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 46. Wilson's throw caught by Metcalf, and he's taken down inside the 30. 17 more yards on that one as they keep the drive rolling. Now Wilson on first down. This complete to Lockett. And it's a fumble. And that might be Titan football. It is. We have seen this before. And we know coaches preach about this and work on it all the time. Catch the ball. You know there's going to be some traffic somewhere. They've got to put it away and secure it as they try and get downfield. Seattle's offense coming back onto the field, ready for their second drive. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. And they got across the 50 last time, but fumbled and turned it over. So they'll be looking to have a short-term memory here, Mr. Davis. Not only and he will score. Touchdown, Seattle. 18-yard touchdown grab. And the Seahawks have taken a first quarter lead. The big fellow was the recipient there for that touchdown pass, and it seems like more and more the tight end is the guy you have to worry about most in the passing game. Myers connects on the PAT, and it's now a 7-0 game. That'll be taken about a yard deep. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially, so a net gain of one there. They're coming out with a jumbo package to start the drive. On the ground, this is Derrick Henry. And some room to work. And they work this well upfield across the 45. Just like that, a pickup of 20 on their first play from scrimmage. A big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and 10. And he's up across midfield and down into Seattle territory. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. From just shy of midfield, Tannehill over the middle it's incomplete. The linebacker Bobby Wagner able to get back in coverage and knock it free. So after the second down incompletion, they'll come up now against a third and six. And that's caught by Smith. And he will have first down yardage as he's brought down at the 41. It goes as a gain of eight and it moves the chains. First and ten, and they've got three tight ends out there. A jumbo package look. The throw on the quick slant going to be complete. And he works it past the 30, almost to the 25. That would good for a pickup of 15 for Tennessee. A 
First down carry for Henry. And he'll be tackled at the 23 after a gain of three. He was taken down by that's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play. It was only a three-yard run, but for both sides, they had to walk away from that field like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. Trey Flowers is on the stop. A gain of four. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. Seventh play of the drive now as they come up on a third and three. A shotgun snap for Tannehill. The open man is Smith. And they've got it inside the 10 at the eight. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. And the Titans were number one in the NFL in red zone touchdown percentage last year, 77%. It's first and goal. They're able to break through that initial contact and winds up getting about three there. It's second down. The six-yard line, the line of scrimmage on second and goal. That'll be caught by Brown. Touchdown, Tennessee. It's a six-yard touchdown pass. And the Titans are an extra point away from tying this thing up. On those slants, everything happens so quickly. What makes it work? The timing between the passer and the receiver. In this case, a slant route. Ordinarily, it's probably about three steps before you go on the slant. In this amount of time, I think it's a two-step deal. Boom, put his foot in the ground and got inside for the pass. Got inside for the pass, got inside for the catch and the score. And it'll be a touchback as Tyler Lockett says, I'm not going to return this one. The Seattle now ready to march out of the field. After the long touchdown drive we just saw, you wonder if maybe that's taken a little of the wind out of this offensive sales because they had it going pretty good last time, too. Had to sit over there for a little while, didn't they? You know, they were eager, amped up to get back on the field after just scoring, hoping to get the ball back quickly. That didn't happen, so I'd say come out, just kind of get started again. You know, it doesn't have to be anything dramatic. Just get moving, get loose again, and see if they can get it downfield. They'll break the huddle, come up on second and eight at the 27-yard line, eluding the pressure right. He's going to take off with it, and they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. Able to make something out of nothing there. 17 yards and a first down. And they show run with three tight ends here on first down. This is Carson, and he'll only get a yard, maybe two, up to the 46. Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground, but I think the play gets made by the defensive front because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up, and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole. It's a game of two. Brings up third and five. 54 is Mike, 54 is Mike. From the gun on third down, Wilson. Open man is Metcalf, he's got it. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Titans' 38-yard line. Wilson to Metcalf that time, first down Seattle. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. From the gun, it's Wilson. It's caught, lock it. And he works it past the 30, almost to the 25. 11 more yards that go around, a first down as well. We got this. Wilson after the play fake to Carson. And he'll be hit as he releases it. And that'll fall incomplete. Greg Olson was the intended target. That'll bring up second down. Second and 10 now from the 27. To throw again, Wilson. Oh, he tries to get it to Metcalf, but it's intercepted. Picked off at the 24, the 30, the 20. And he's going to score. It's a Titans touchdown. Short throw pick six right there, those linebackers. They love when those short throws come and those eyes get real wide, don't they? How about the anticipation on the play? Reading, reacting, and then the ability to catch the football and take it in the opposite direction. Goskowski with the extra point, and that makes the score 14-7. to 
So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. This taken in about four yards deep. And it'll be a touchback as Tyler Lockett says, I'm not going to return this one. The Seahawks offense now, they get ready to come back onto the field. That 7-0 lead of theirs is short-lived as they've now given up two straight touchdowns to fall behind by seven. Yeah, but no cause for discouragement here. Yeah, they've fallen behind, but haven't they proven that they can go down and score? So what was the formula to get them down there the first time? Get back to something close to that, and maybe they can get this game tied up. Philip Dorsett holds it in. They'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. 22 yards there, a first down. First and 10 at the 46-yard line. On first and 10, it's Wilson. That one's going to be complete to David Moore. And he's going to get this inside the 30. 17 yards on the catch and run. It's a first down. They'll throw on first down with Wilson, escaping the pressure right. And now he's going to use his legs. Now the Seahawks going to use the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. Six yards left on second down. From the shotgun, Wilson. He finds his man, the tight end Olsen. Now the Seahawks call the second of their three timeouts as the clock's going to stop with 47 seconds to go in half number one. On third down, Wilson. Here's Carson with a catch out of the backfield. And he'll be out of bounds just inside the 25-yard line. Three yards all they could muster there, and it'll bring up fourth down. How about that strategy there, Brandon? Third down, they just said, we've got faith in our tacklers. We'll give you the short stuff and just decided to protect the sticks. So every time I hear fans telling me tackling's not a part of the game anymore, plays like that, I can clip and save and show them you have to tackle well if you want to be a good defense. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. The Titans coming back onto the field for their second drive. You're under a minute to go here in the half. Field position not really in your favor, but still time to try and move the ball and get in field goal range. Yeah, you've got the lead. It's definitely a thought. Let's go ahead and try and increase it. But at the same time, I don't like the odds. I don't like where they are on the field. Got the lead. They've done well in the first half. Don't mess it up and go into halftime looking at each other wondering what if. Now a first down throw, Tannehill. Oh, he's able to outmuscle him here as he pulls it in. Another good gain. That's now 35 yards combined on those last two plays. On first down, Henry. And that play went nowhere. Losing yardage. It'll be back at the 36. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. And unless this is a quick incompletion, this is likely the last play here of this first half. On second and 11 now, Tannehill. And that is incomplete. Two seconds left on the clock. So with two ticks left here in the half, on is the field goal unit. From the left hash, this from 53 yards out. And his kick is absolutely perfect. And that will finish off this third quarter of play. So we have reached halftime with a touchdown. That's the difference on the scoreboard. As we send you cross country to Orlando, Jonathan Coachman is there and has our EA Sports halftime report. Jason. The Titans hold the lead and they'll get the football first as the third quarter gets underway. And this will make it into the end zone. And it'll come out to the 25 as Raymond will elect not to bring it out. The Titans offense set to begin the drive. They have the lead now. They'll be looking for some separation here as we begin the third quarter. I like the way you turn that because now I think they go a little bit deeper into their playbook. They like what they did in the first half. That worked okay. But in order to get the separation that you just talked about, 
change things up a little bit. Change your tendencies, try and hit them a little bit more with some things they didn't see in the first half. Let's see if they do just that. A first down run, good for about three. Second and seven coming up. Well, obviously, they would have at least liked to have gotten back to the original line of scrimmage. Instead, now, they're dealing with second and long. I thought they would have passed it after the penalty. Probably wish they would have now. And he'll get about three as he takes this up near the 25. They know that old expression, it's not my night. It hasn't been his so far. I don't know if the legs are a little bit heavy. Sometimes having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play to your advantage, but it's been a tough go for him. And every time he looks up, somebody's there defensively. That was the same case on that play. A gain of 15. And the Titans first down. Right there. 54. Right there. Right there. 54. Mark. They'll run on first down. It's Henry. And he'll be taken down just shy of midfield. Give him nine on the carry that time, and they're set up with a second and one. Brings up second and a yard. At their 49. Again, it's Henry. And he'll get it into enemy territory just across midfield at the 49. Two yards, good enough for a first. So from Seahawk territory now, it's first and 10 at the 49-yard line. Tannehill throwing complete to Davis. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. Three yards remain for second down. Tannehill with a play fake to Henry. He'll throw instead. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. Have to give some credit to the defender on that when he read all of his keys perfectly and got a great break on the ball and able to force that incompletion. Seventh play of the drive now as they come up on a third and three. They'll try to run for the first with Henry. And yeah, brought down, but not before he was able to break the tackle and the extra effort moves the sticks. It's a gain of nine. First down, Tennessee. A solid run by Derrick Henry, and here's another first and ten. First down and much more for Henry. And he's going to be taken down here with a penalty flag on the field. So a decent gain, but all for naught on the penalty. That's too bad, isn't it? They were feeling pretty good about it. The only people celebrating, the guys who just gave up that play. Tannehill. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. So they'll come up after the incompletion for second down. Play action. It's Tannehill. That is caught inside the five. And they will eventually get him down, but he's inside the five all the way to the three. The end result, 21 yards. Now that was a fun one to watch right there. A nice in-breaking route and plenty of room in the middle of the field. And he was able to get behind the linebackers and grab the completion for a really good... And it's caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Tennessee. Jonu Smith there to make the grab. And the Titans find a way to stretch their lead. That seemed pretty ideal there for the offense, Charles. You take a little bit of time off the clock here in the third quarter, decent length drive, and you pad your lead as well at the end of it. And what it does is lets you feel like you're in control of this game even more so than a two-touchdown lead, right? Because you have taken that time off, as you noted, which means they couldn't get you off the field. You ran your playbook the way you wanted to, and you gave your defense some rest. What a big-time drive in that situation. Now we'll see what this Seahawks offense has in store with their first possession of the second half. And their halftime hole now even deeper, and they need a big drive here just to answer the first touchdown of the second half scored against them. They were down at the half. Now, as you mentioned, they're down a little bit bigger, but no time for discouragement. Just got to get back to it, right? Put your shoulder against the boulder and start pushing and try and get back to where you were to start the half. From the 24, Wilson. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Out of the gun. Here's Wilson. And he will not be able to hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. The coverage strong, and now it's fourth down. Normally you think the tight end's going to be able to catch the football and handle that contact, but in this case, 
Maybe a little too much target to hit. That one was timed well. Incomplete. A good kick that time, but also a pretty good 15-yard return. And this offense will take over right at the midfield stripe with a first and 10. Tannehill and the Titans come up now first and 10 right at the 50-yard line. Bobby Wagner, the NFL's leading tackler in 2019, there on the stop. Second and five. It's a gain of five. Brings up second and five. They'll run it again with Henry. They follow up the gain of five by only getting one there on second down. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we play three quarters. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. The Titans on third down. A perfect four for four thus far. This is third and four. Out of the gun, Tannehill. And that will be incomplete. As this old brain remembers, when I see five wide receivers on the field as a defender, I know the ball's coming out hot. They expected it and got there and popped it free. On is Kern, the punter, to send this one away. You rarely call your punter a weapon, but he certainly was there. How about that? Pinning him down at the one-yard line and helping out the defense in a big way. I'm telling you what, if I'm a defensive coordinator, I might be thinking safety right now. They'll start out on the ground with Carson. Oh, and he's not going to make it out of the end zone. The push too strong, and that'll be a safety. Well, there is still time to recover from this. It remains a two-score game, even with the two points there. But let's just say things not trending in the right direction. I like that phrase. I'm going to say it along with you. Things are definitely not trending in the right direction. They needed something on that drive. Instead, they gave up two points and a lot of hope. Tannehill and the Titans come up now first and 10 at the 31-yard line. He'll start with a give to Henry, and he'll be limited to a short gain up to about the 34-yard line. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces, and, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. The Titans on third down. They've been near perfect. Four for five to this point. Here it's third and two. And he's taken down at the 43, but not before picking up the first. It's a gain of four there, and it gives him a new set of downs. A four-yard pickup on the play. And the Titans first down. Right there. 54, right there, right there. 54. And the busy night for Henry continues. And he'll take this one across the 45 up to about the 46-yard line. A gain of three, second down. The clock continuing to run. They'll probably wind this all the way before snapping it on second down. They'll try and choose some clock with Henry. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. 11 yards there, first down. Well, that's a carry they have to be satisfied with. And throughout this game, they've been satisfied with what he's given them. Whenever they've needed a big run, a first down, he's the guy they've turned to. And it doesn't matter what the defense thinks. They feel like they've got the confidence to keep handing it to him and keep picking up good yardage. Nine yards is the pick up there, and they'll have a second and one. A 20th carry now for Derrick Henry. And he gets it down to the 32. A gain of just a yard, but it's a first down. Starting to look like this drive, it may be the final nail in the coffin. Well, this is why you work out so hard, right? This is why you spend all that time in the offseason. This is why you have those OTAs and mini camps for these situations, these scenarios, to run someone into the ground and secure a victory. Well, not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. Tannehill going to turn and give this to Henry. And he was able to shed the tackle, but the reserves come in for the stop. And now right out of the two-minute break, we'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go. On 
Second down, here's Henry. And he'll be brought down inside the 20 at the 19. Now the Seahawks call the second of their three timeouts. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. On first down, Henry. And he's going to be taken down with a marker on the field. So let's see about the call. So he was holding from that left tackle position. Everyone tries to keep their hands inside when they're blocking ever since they liberalized the rules where you can extend them out. Sometimes they get out a little wide and they get detected grabbing some cloth. Now the Seahawks forced to use their third and final timeout as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Second and long, but you got to figure this almost certainly another run. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. This will be a short gain of three before he's brought down at the 22. The recipe's pretty simple, I think, right? You just give your superstar the ball and continue to feed him. Yeah, don't overthink this one, right? Make sure he's touching the football, but you're also counting on his intelligence and in playing the game as well. If it's not there, don't force the run. Just make sure you hang on to the football and keep the clock ticking. Third down, Henry. Man, he'll be taken down near the 20 at the 21. Just a one-yard pickup there, and it'll be fourth down. And for the second time tonight, this field goal unit comes out here. This to make it a three-score game late. Year trusty veteran able to knock it through, and that will make this now a 19 point advantage. So they get three, certainly hoping for six after a 13 play drive. So you console yourself on defense by saying you did your job, right? If they go 13 plays, you only give up a field goal, you did a nice job there. But here's the other part 13 plays, you don't force any mistakes, you don't take the ball away. Maybe that's the way they should look at it. Seattle again getting ready to take over offensively. They've lost this one. Their offense has struggled. Do they try to put together something here at the end just to take into next week? Yeah, sometimes teams want to do that and coaches want to. I remember one time I was on a team and we were losing late in a game like this and you knew it was lost. It was over, right? And the coach called a running play and pretty much said to everyone, I want to see something executed well before we get out of here. And that was the message to the team. Just something to build on. Just something to build on, get it done, and maybe we can look at that and say, we'll get better as we go forward. Greg Olson was a big-time pickup for the Seattle Seahawks in the offseason. Spent the last nine seasons with Carolina as an all-pro, Pro Bowl tight end, and did the same thing before that with the Chicago Bears. Now he moves to the Northwest and gives Russell Wilson a big-time target in the middle of the field.